They've run out of jugs of water, so corporate donations have now supplied people with juice, water, and microwavable soup to try to get through this water crisis. You're all set. You have a good day now. In the city of Rossford... All the way to the end, please. Unlock your doors to them, please. Jugs of water... You want them through here? ...are viewed as a precious commodity. People don't realize how dependent they are on water until something like this happens. The city's water supply is once again losing the battle against toxic algae in Lake Erie. Big question is how long is it going to last? And the other big question is what are they going to do about the algae? This is not something new. This has been going on for a long, long time. To give you an idea of the need for water at this water station alone, yesterday they gave out 46,000 gallons of water in just five hours. It's been wonderful for us. Health officials are telling people not to drink their tap water or boil it for cooking because of the potential health risks. Now, I'm not going to wash dishes yet. They said you could, but I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to. Meanwhile, those who run water stations like this... We'll get it right in there for you. ...say they'll continue to hand out jugs of water to anyone in need. And what they're finding, they say, is that the need is coming from farther and farther away. The need is there. We're not going to turn people away. You know, they're our, they're our neighbors, so we've got to take care of each other. When reliable water is restored to this area, it's not over for these homeowners. They'll still need to flush their pipes at home before they can drink the water. Reporting near Toledo, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.